Opie and Anthony. Birds are faggots. Useless. Really are. Yeah, this is how stupid they are. When they're in the cage, if you throw like a towel over it, they think it's night. <laughs> how do you not just kill those things on principle? <laughs> Bunch of dopes. <laughs> how do they survive and morph from dinosaurs to become such dopes? A pillowcase makes it nighttime. It's five. <laughs> it's, it's four in the afternoon. Pillow. Oh, well, it's dark. All right. <laughs> <laughs> These should be the smartest things on the face of the earth, being around that long. <laughs> They're the last of the dinosaurs. Last the of the dinosaurs. Part. Right. Been around for <laughs> They can fly, for God's sake. Ah, the rooster's crowing. First thing in the morning, towel on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how am I going to get up for work? <laughs> That's what you do to old people. Whenever they start talking, you want you throw a face cloth on them. They just think it's night. You <laughs> fall asleep. Oh, it's so dark. I've missed my programs. <laughs> when I was your age, shut up. Towel. <laughs> Any animal that rubs its ass on bark as an attempt to wipe because it's seen people. I think bears do that. All right, then bears can I've live. Seen be but bears have so much hair back there, all they wind up doing is smearing it all they over their ass. They don't just, they just, They're just trying to be like people. I'm just trying to record some production. <laughs> That's why they wander into our neighborhoods. They're trying to assimilate. We keep shooting them, <laughs> making rugs out of them. <laughs> they don't know any better. They think when they see when they see a lodge with a bear laying in front of a fireplace and people fucking on it, they think he's part of the team. <laughs> they, just, don't, they don't understand taxidermy. They see a bear mounted with his arms up. They think we worship them. <laughs> they, they expect to stroll in like gods. <laughs> we just shoot them in the head, brother. <laughs> we fucking shoot a tranquilizing darts into them and then fucking haul them back to the woods. Drag them back they into their shitty shit lives. Takes far beat it, stupid. Oh, they're little cubs that are sitting there going, but daddy, I thought you had this figure. Figured out for us. Exactly. Beat it, you three legged trap victim. <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> Fucking cunt of the bear. Buzz off. <laughs> Before I wear one of your shitty claws as a necklace, a little memento toward dominance. <laughs> a little memento. Yeah, beat it, honey eater. Of my weekend in the woods. They don't understand. They think that, like, the fucking bears that, like, ride bikes and dance, they think the bears that dance have made it. <laughs> they, they think that they're respected sh stars in show business. <laughs> Did you hear about Barry? He went over to Romania. He's a big dancing star. <laughs> they have no idea there's a fucking a rusty hook through Barry's nose. <laughs> Being led in a circle by fucking gypsies. <laughs> 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 oh, Barry stinks. Oh, Barry's fucking awful. <laughs> one, one false move. He's getting a cattle prod up his head. Of course he is. <laughs> Poor Barry. He fuck has to walk on his hind legs and pretend he's dancing. But they don't have the internet yet, so the story is passed down. Oh, they have oh, no God. idea. So by the time the story gets back to the woods, you know, Barry's a star. Rusty, <laughs> yeah, rusty <laughs> hook in his nose. Is a fucking the yank on it if Barry doesn't do the, the fucking the Watusi properly. <laughs> <laughs> I think Barry's a big dance star. He's a star of stage and screen. <laughs> His nose is always running from the hook and the, and the hole it made. Trying to figure out how they could be like Barry. The infections. <laughs> they're practicing their dance moves, but they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, that's what they're doing when they rub their shitty asses on the bark tree. They're fucking, they fucking. They think they're dancing. They're going cha 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 cha. Why can't you be more like your cousin Barry? He's a big star. He's a big star in Romania. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Again, bicycling bears' feet are nailed to the <laughs> of pedals. Of course they are. <laughs> if the fucking bike tips over, he, he can't jump off. <laughs> he just has to lay He's there. Like an asshole. So While they help pull on that rusty ring to get the bike up. <laughs> And they but, never take him off the bike. He has to sleep <laughs> that way. He has to shit that way. No. Nobody wants to help him up either because he's clawing and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all like, let him tire himself out like that. <laughs> then fucking, when he falls asleep, I'll prop him back up. <laughs> like, we're just trying to help you up, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, leave uh, him there. Write his family. Tell him Barry's a big star. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bears are idiots. <laughs> They really are. Thank God they have comfy fur. <laughs> Fucking stupid rugs. <laughs> First you're a shit machine, now you're a rug. Why did God make you? They're good for two things. Shitting and fucking on. <laughs>
and taxidermy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I want to buy a big stuffed bear <laughs> just <Yeah>. to burn it <laughs> <laughs> and kick it over. <laughs> so it just lives for nothing. <laughs> it's not even beautiful in death. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking tip it over, burning a like Saddam statue, and laugh at it. What do you think of that shit machine? Your life has been for naught. It's for nothing. <laughs> you ate a few berries, and then you got shot. Oh, fuck yourself. Stuffed and burned and pushed over. Exactly. And the taxidermist had to comb your hair over the fucking trap marks in your fat little bare leg. Stupid. What'd you think? Somebody just left a big snack in the middle of a steel circle? With teeth on it, you ask? <laughs> what could that have been? I'd love to ask a bear, what did you think that was? It was a metal circle with spikes coming out of it. How could that have worked out? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you think someone just left a big pile of honey and berries? In the middle of the woods for no reason? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking moron. Uh, oh. You know how stupid a bear must feel when a trap closes on its leg? <laughs> He's probably like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, oh, did yeah. they did tell me about I, this shit. I remember now. I heard about this. Oh, yeah. Normally when I get berries, they're not in a bushel with honey sprinkled on them. <laughs> I have to rip them off trees. <laughs> Normally there's bees stinging me. Jimmy's made everyone hate bears. Why, how can you not hate them? <laughs> Fucking cunt of an animal it is. It does nothing. Terrorize people. Fuck with your tents. <laughs> For every tent that gets ripped up, what kind of animal should you have to hang your own fucking garbage and food 40 feet away from your fucking sleeping quarters? <laughs> fucking flamethrowers. If he pops his head in the tent, you flamethrow him. <laughs> I'm not burying my shit. Let him creep into the fucking... Let him creep into the campgrounds. Give him a good flamethrowing. You know how fucking stupid a bear would look if all of his fucking face and head fur was burned off? He'd smell real bad. It would be those little curly burnt hairs all over. He'd have no eyebrows. You imagine a bear with a fucking head like a burn victim? Even, even in the bear kingdom, no one would fuck him. No bear pussy for you. Every time a bee stung him, he'd go, ow! Couldn't even eat honey anymore. His fucking, his tender burned bear skin. Little fluffy ears just look creepy. <laughs> they look like Doritos. <laughs> They're all burnt and just crispy. <laughs> just two pink, veiny Doritos <laughs> that hurt to the touch. <laughs> oh, uh, right. I wouldn't be surprised if PETA calls up. Was he actually advocating the flame throwing of bears? I will fucking I let me tell I will throw a Molotov cocktail <laughs> through PETA's window right now. <laughs> I've always supported them because I misunderstood what they were about. They show all those videos of the fucking slaughterhouses. I thought that was to advocate it. <laughs> like, look, this stuff's tasty. I've been sending them money. Like, I thought they were supporting KFC. <laughs> <laughs> They're too mild on those chickens. They live spoiled lives. <laughs> all animals should be treated like veal. <laughs> There's no reason I should have to bite into a sinewy burger because this thing had to run around the yard. <laughs> that is cute that the deer lets him pet it and stuff. I want to pet a deer. <laughs> Go to a petting zoo, you I'll, dummy. I want to pet a deer with brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Gently stroke his chin with a roundhouse. And then just come around and clock him in that flat side of his head. How shocked would a deer be if you belted it in the face with brass knuckles? <laughs> he would be so surprised. He would just like jump and run away in his little white teeth, never return to the yard. He wouldn't know what was happening. Well, he's so used to being like fed oats. Shuka, shuka. Yeah. 
<laughs> Under his chin, you give him the little shooka, 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 <laughs> and then, and then just from back around, just a roundhouse with brass knuckles. He's used to hearing this. Yeah. yeah. So what you do is, as you're scratching his chin, then you roundhouse right in his cheekbone, and he fucking like would he'd be shocked and just run away, looking over his shoulder like, was that planned? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> or, or hold your hand out with a little bit of grain in there, so he's eating it, and and thinking everything's fine. He's chewing. And then you just come across and hit him in that little half moon kind of round <laughs> bone thing on the side of their mouth. Or across on the, onto the bridge of his fucking <laughs> button nose. You, you fucking come down with a Liddell just fucking punch. Clock him with brass knuckles. <laughs> oh, oh, his eyes would be just open all big and wide, all yeah. shocked. Oh, hopefully he'd Why fall did down. he punch me with brass knuckles? Hopefully he'd fall down and then get up and run away. <laughs> Knock him out. He has to go back to the deer community and just feel like an asshole. Because <laughs> they'd all be like, we told you so. <laughs> told you. They don't just feed you. They fuck you up. They always want something. <laughs> big, big brass knuckle marks on the side yeah. of his face. Oh, they all oh, laugh at him. Jake. God, would that be so funny to see? Break his little deer jaw. <laughs> have to talk through a wire for three months. <laughs> talk Who's going to wire his jaw? Oh, hopefully the owners care about him. Oh, okay. If not, he's going to be fucking licking, licking soft grass. Hoping to get nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking faggot deer. <laughs> I like to grab that white tail and deep deck it while he nurses his sword jaw. <laughs> <laughs> While the fucking family looks on in horror. <laughs> Tails just going, fruit, 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 fluttering. He's trying to run. <laughs> I trusted that. <laughs> Even his dog is hacky and old. I hate this fucking family. I hope right after that, the, the fucking, like, right after, as he's plugging his Xbox, old Rex ran out and was struck by a delivery truck. <laughs> I hope the fucking, I, I hope, I hope the, the golden-haired dog in that video now has a fucking tire print to his back. <laughs> And the dog did the little half curly run, except his innards and shit were coming out of his stomach. <laughs> Christmas is spoiled! <laughs> Why can't you just be happy for the kid? They have to use the Xbox to pick up the dog by the hind legs and put his fucking, his lower half, his tendrils, in the fucking box that his toy came in. <laughs> Despise that dog barking happily. <laughs> Right after that, I hope it ran through the fucking dog door to alert the neighbors that his master had gotten the Xbox. <laughs> and a fucking, like, a delivery truck just fucking plowed into him. One tire over the ears and one over the back of the legs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The kid's horror as he just hears from outside. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he plays that Xbox, he'll have to think of brains and shit on the fucking tip of his white shell toe Adidas. He, he scooped up Rex's fucking most private areas. That little pink lipstick they found two days later. Because <laughs> the dog's dick was hard. The dog was so happy that he got the Xbox, he ran out of the house with a hard dick. <laughs> <laughs> so when the truck ran it over, that little lipstick went and shot off the front of his body. The neighbor found it stuck to the mailbox. I think this might belong to you. I don't know what to do with it. My cat was knocking it around, laughing. My cat was twittering pictures of this. <laughs> you, you have a wild imagination, my friend. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking dog dick stuck to the frozen fucking mailbox. They actually thought they had a letter because...